Welcome back, everybody. It's all about taking things to the next level on today's show. I'm here with Deb from Lowney's Landscaping in the Valley. And we're talking about um, taking your garden, your porch, uh, to the next level this summer with stuff that you may already have, some really unique containers for some of your um, summer plants. I am just smiling at all this stuff. Hey, Deb, great, good to great. see you. Good to see you. Thanks so much for having me today. Um, one of the things I want to talk about with Pinterest and the internet and all that kind of stuff, a lot of this we've seen before. So I, I hope maybe there's some things you haven't seen before, but what I really want to talk about is how you get it to the way you see it in that picture. Because sure. I think here and there, I hear in the garden center, there's a little frustration there. So um, the first thing I thought would be fun to talk about um, is a container like this. With the spring that we have or have not had, I uh, want to point out, if you're having a graduation party, this is called like a faux planter, meaning all these pots are just stuck in there. They're not planted. So you can you use can, them for something later. You can use it for something later. If you truly planted this with the growth habits in mind, there's way too many plants here. Got it. But we have just spruced it up so that it is outstanding, gorgeous centerpiece. And easy and breezy. Easy, I mean, like breezy, five minutes to throw five that together. Minutes. And, and, and these are going to last. So instead of going to a florist and getting some big fancy bouquet, and right. they, they'll fit with the theme. You know, right. casual. I love that idea. And you can idea. get it together in a second. Love that. Um, you know, certain things you may want to take into account. Maybe you want to line a container with plastic or something so you don't wreck it. This one was my little brainchild this morning because the other thing I thought of you can do, this is a begonia, full shade plant. This is a lantana, full sun. For this application, again, in their container shed, doesn't matter. Just make it look great, have it out there for party day, you're good to go. And then plant them where they and need plant to be. Them, yes. And that yes. look at the colors just are, look so yep. gorgeous. Here. And just an old repurposed um, basket from the thrift store. Pretty. And a can of uh, polyurethane. So it's a great thing to have to sort of spruce those things up. Um, this back one too as well, just all kind of shoved in this there is last an old minute. window box. Yep, and I've used it for years now and you know of course I like that look. A I little, do too. A little shabby chic. Yeah. Yep. And um, again we just stuck in some Gerbera daisies. Uh, what are these called yeah. for some height and interest? That's a cordyline, yeah, that's a, like kind of in the grass family. Um, great this, on a buffet though because it's you know nice big space. Yes, yeah. and really great when you're running around in the morning trying to get ready for the Amy Hanton show. <laughs> <laughs> well we pulled this so, off yeah, in minutes. There you go. I love it. Um, an old, uh, an old well an old grain feeder I believe of some Who sort knew? and the, the point I wanted to show even in your plant selection here I worked with the the orange color in the trim of this rusty old piece of junk tried to pick that up in the plants and that's the kind of stuff that's really going to tie it together this one however is planted and we all know little tricks or maybe we don't this is filled up halfway with empty nursery pots so it doesn't become this big cumbersome thing that you need to lug around okay um also i think sometimes people are afraid about planting and they treat the plants so carefully i just want to show you rip it out shove it in push it down take your excess dirt fill it in and you're good to go. Okay, that's about the cutest thing. We all have some old galoshes, or you can find them at yes. yard sales, Goodwill. Yes. Stick that in your garden. Um, it just creates interest. It's yes. so cute. And then on behalf of my uh, teenage daughter, let's not overlook the ceramic that they've done over the years. True. You can grab it. You might be kind of hiding it off in the corner. Not this one, of course, <laughs> Maddie. Sorry. Um, but anything, this one, it's all about the container. I love that. We're about out of time. This okay. was a, from a train set. Yes, yes, and these are from old fashioned, these are for, from a coffee percolator. Those are the little things you'd put the grounds in. So 15 cents at the rummage sale. Cool. Love the moss roses in here. They don't need very much depth for planting. Is that planting. an old toolbox? Yeah, old little tool oh my caddy, gosh. and Crazy. they'll do well love in there. It. Love it, love it, love it. Yep. So um, get creative with your planters. Lowney's Landscaping has all these gorgeous flowers, and they can help you really make your garden um, look spectacular this year. Thanks so much. Where are you located? You're welcome. We're at 6064 North Richmond Street in Appleton, and we are having a great open house on June 7th, so we'd love to see people come out. There's going to be a lot of education happening there. As you can see, it's easy breezy, and they'll show you how to do this and mm -hmm. make it look like it's something from Pinterest. So thanks a bunch. All right. Appreciate thank it. you. Coming up, we're headed to the kitchen to make homemade granola bars and some other treats, too. Stay with us. We'll be back.